Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Liberals irate at what one thing they see in this pic of Trump's with Florida Coast Guard on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving most of us spend our time with people we love, reflecting on all the things we're thankful for. However, if you're a Trump hater there's no such thing as a day off. No matter the time or place, there will be some way for a liberal to hate on the president and his family. Apparently, the season of Thanksgiving doesn't include giving the president a day without personal attacks. The president decided to spend his holiday at one of his much-loved homes in Florida, which just so happens to be close to where quite a few Coast Guard are spending their holiday. Since he's the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, these are his boys and girls in uniform, and he wanted to make it special for them, so he showed up to pass out some goodies. The men and women in uniform at Rivero Beach were in for the thrill of their life when they got to meet greet and hang out with the president and first lady today. Daily Mail reported the outing, and while they seemed to be completely overjoyed to see the couple, the naysayers started in immediately criticizing the first lady, because she is wearing a hat, we kid you not. As first lady of the United States, and mother to a beloved son, Melania Trump undoubtedly has plenty to be thankful for. But the 46-year-old made sure to share the love on Thanksgiving giving back to some of the men and women who worked tirelessly to help others during in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey in Texas. Melania and her husband, President Donald Trump, 71, who are spending the holiday at the family's exclusive Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida, took some time out of their day to meet with members of the state's Coast Guard, joining the hard-working service men and women at their station in Riviera Beach in order to serve them lunch. So what's the problem with Melania's clothes this time? It's the hat. According to the ever-present trolls, the first lady should have taken her hat off. It's unclear what gives those who insult and curse the people trying to serve the country the moral high ground to tell others how they should behave, but apparently they think they have it. These weren't the only comments that the lovely social justice warriors had for the floatus, some of them were, even more fun than the hat comment. Short to the point and very telling. Apparently, Jojo from San Fran knows more about standing in front of cameras than a supermodel. That makes sense. The next two were also comments about the former model's personal appearance. Zero. Shares. Facebook. Twitter. On Thanksgiving most of us spend our time with people we love, reflecting on all the things we're thankful for. However, if you're a Trump hater there's no such thing as a day off. No matter the time or place, there will be some way for a liberal to hate on the president and his family. Apparently, the season of Thanksgiving doesn't include giving the president a day without personal attacks. The president decided to spend his holiday at one of his much-loved homes in Florida, which just so happened to be close to where quite a few Coast Guard are spending their holiday. Since he's the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, these are his boys and girls in uniform, and he wanted to make it special for them, so he showed up to pass out some goodies. The men and women in uniform at Rivero Beach were in for the thrill of their life when they got to meet, greet and hang out with the president and first lady today. Daily Mail reported the outing, and while they seemed to be completely overjoyed to see the couple, the naysayers started in immediately criticizing the first lady, because she is wearing a hat, we kid you not. As First Lady of the United States, and mother to a beloved son, Melania Trump undoubtedly has plenty to be thankful for. But the 46-year-old made sure to share the love on Thanksgiving, giving back to some of the men and women who worked tirelessly to help others during in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey in Texas. Melania and her husband, President Donald Trump, 71, who are spending the holiday at the family's exclusive Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida took some time out of their day to meet with members of the state's Coast Guard, joining the hard-working service men and women at their station in Riviera Beach in order to serve them lunch. Giving back, Melania Trump and her husband, President Donald Trump, served lunch to the men and women of the Florida Coast Guard on Thanksgiving. So what's the problem with Melania's clothes this time? It's the hat. According to the ever-present trolls, the First Lady should have taken her hat off. 
It's unclear what gives those who insult and curse the people trying to serve the country the moral high ground to tell others how they should behave, but apparently they think they have it. These weren't the only comments that the lovely social justice warriors had for the FLOTUS, some of them were, even more fun than they had comment. Short, to the point and very telling. Apparently, Jojo from San Fran knows more about standing in front of cameras than a supermodel. That makes sense. The next two were also comments about the former model's personal appearance. I'll skip right over the lunacy of these trolls commenting on the appearance of one of the most impressive models this nation has ever seen, who is styled by some of the biggest names in the country, and just go straight to the social imperative that is good manners. It's just rude and insensitive to insult a person, even if they truly were ugly, had bad posture or didn't wear clothes that you approve of. It's just not okay to act like that in polite society. Here's more from our sponsor on the Trump's trip to visit these service members. The first lady dressed very casually for the occasion, donning a pink gingham shirt from J. Crew, the same 2012 design that she modeled back in August when she, Donald, and their 11-year-old son Baron returned to the White House from Camp David. Mother of one Melania paired her laid-back shirt with a pair of dark trousers and an official White House baseball cap, eschewing her Flotus printed hat in favor of the new white trim design. She also left her trademark heels at home, opting instead to wear a pair of casual sneakers. Completing her casual, comfy style, Melania pulled her long brunette locks back into a ponytail, tucking it through the gap in her hat, and wore minimal makeup, just her signature bronzer and nude lip. Melania looked happy and relaxed as she and the president addressed the dozen or so service men and women, thanking them for their continued efforts, and particularly highlighting the incredible work they did in the days and weeks after Hurricane Harvey. After speaking with the group, the first couple then served lunch to the men and women, before happily posing for some pictures with the uniform-clad workers. Taking to her Twitter account, Melania shared several of the pictures showing herself shaking hands with a number of the Coast Guard members, posing with the whole group, and handing out sandwiches, chips, and other tasty treats. Thrilled to spend part of our Thanksgiving W the local Coast Guard station in Florida, she wrote alongside the snaps. Thank you to all members of the military who keep us safe. The president also took the time to praise the efforts of the Coast Guard, telling the group, there is no brand that went up more than the Coast Guard. What a job you've done! The first couple provided lunch for the men and women spending Thanksgiving at the station near Trump's Mar-a-Lago club, including turkey sandwiches, giant muffins, heaping baskets of fruit, chips and cookies. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments.